I am going to show you two ways to get rid of this awful um, yellow or red full mailbox, full document kind of notices. So the first thing you want to do is go to your email from a desktop or Revolve or an other full size or laptop computer. And then you go to arrange by size. Normally it's arranged by date, but we're going to go to arrange by size. And then um, it'll be on largest on top. And try that again. And we're here at the end. So I'm going to go to number one. I want to see my number one largest email. So my number one largest email is these uh, documents, the club day rosters. And you know what? Before making this video, I did one of the two things you can do to get rid of this kind of thing. So I can X this out, I no longer need it because I have saved it somewhere else. So if you've been saving these in your email, you're just filling up your email. You don't have to do that anymore. So let me show you where that is now. What I did was I went to my Evernote and here it is, Club Day Rosters, and I just sent it to myself and it's right there for whenever I need it in my Evernote. There are other, there's another thing you can do. So let's go back to our almost full email and see what else I can share. So um, I don't need these ASCD smart briefs, so I can get rid of those. And let's say though that I do want, I definitely want Miss Curtis's spring map testing. So I'm gonna forward this to myself. And this is how I got that club day over there. Um, I have an email address for Evernote and all I do is that I just send it to myself so now I've sent myself some big files don't forget to check your sent items they come up sent by date you're gonna go ahead and click the word size and now I want to go down and make sure we have the number one big thing and I know that I can get rid of this because I've already sent it to my Evernote and so I can get rid of this because I've already sent it to my Evernote. And I'm going to look at the other things soon. But let's go now to my deleted items. Do never forget to check that. Let's see of all my deleted items. That weekly bulletin that takes up so much space. You don't have to save it in your email. You can send it to your Evernote. You have it there forever to refer back to. So um, I'm going to click delete and get rid of those. And now, yay, it's green, but let's still look at some other ways to keep things that you might want. We have um, also Ms. Chris Curtis's map accommodation, so let's go ahead and put that in, let's assume that we have room to save it right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just save that to my documents, I can delete it later. And if you your documents are full, what you do is just go upload a bunch of them to the other option besides Evernote, which is Google Drive. So the thing about Google Drive is you can't just forward. You do have to have a place to download it first. But once you download it, you can click Upload Files. And now I can sort my documents. I know some people haven't used this before. Sort my documents, sorting by details, and then by date and date again. And there it is. And I can just open that and I am going to actually cancel because I was going to try to put it in photos and I don't want to put it in photos. I want to go to my main drive and I want to upload it, files, and so details and date, date again, there it is. And this is a, all the things that I have done in order and so I can always um, add as much as I want, click open, and it's uploading it and I will have the map accommodations here for me. And in fact, I could even share it with everybody in CMS, everybody at Piedmont, uh, a coworker that I'm working on it with or something like that. So um, that's four minutes, sorry for this long tutorial, but these are some great ways to get rid of all those documents and all those emails that are um, sucking away your space. And so actually, whenever you click files, your documents always come up. So you can um, go ahead and sort, and I always kind of take the newer ones, but you can upload entire files, entire folders by just um, clicking that upload button on Google Docs. Thanks a lot.